Hey, coaches. I'm uh, super excited today. I've got a good buddy of mine, Coach Philip Richards, who's down in Effingham County in Georgia. Uh, Philip is by far the best defensive guy I've ever been around. A great def an elite D coordinator, and he is a three five guy. And Philip is starting his own channel. He's uh, the coach Philip Richards three five defense channel. Uh, is is getting ready to roll, and I'm going to let him talk about that at the uh, at the end today. And we're going to have links uh, in the description, so you can go right over there if you're a, if you're a three five guy or want to be a three five guy or want to learn how to uh, how to attack a three five. Uh, Philip's going to have all the information for you. So uh, to kind of kick it off, Philip's going to uh, talk to us today about an easy adjustment. To the uh, to a three by one formation. So when a, a three five guys playing a spread guy, uh, how do you adjust to the three five and keep your box intact? So this is going to be part one, and then part two will be on his channel uh, uh, that you can click over to. So Philip, excited to have you, man. Excited that you're starting your channel. Uh, I've looked out there. I don't think anyone else is doing a, a three five channel. So and I, I know it's super popular. It is. Funny, it, it's super popular with air raid guys. Seems like air raid, they want to be air raid on offense and three five on defense. So it kind of fits together. Mm -hmm. So uh, excited to have you back on here, man, and to learn from you and excited for you that you're, you're getting your channel started. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for having me. And, um, you know, just, just looking at the three five, it, it's funny because, uh, you know, nobody wants to admit this, but it's really old five three defense, old school defense. So, you know, it's funny that these these new new air raid guys want to go back to the old school defense. It's, it's really it's really nothing new. It's just a little twist on alignment sometimes. So I thought we'd we'll start tonight with. Um, I, I was gonna say, you know, I'm a just I'm look a three four guy, and that's nothing but a five two defense. So it's the same way, you know. We just took a exactly, five -two and that's I, I believe in that defense too. An odd an odd defense gives high school trouble. It gives a lot of what ifs. Yeah. Um, looking at, you know, just certain formations, any defense, certain formations inherently say, all right, what do I do now? And so I thought, you know, like you said, air raid's very, very popular. Um, let's start with three by one. And, and like you said, this is part one. Um, I got part, part two, part three, part 17, probably of what you could do. But, you know, what do you do there? And there's several multiple ways to attack this. Um, what I want to look at tonight is how would you attack this without breaking your stack, without, without breaking your box? Um, so the very first way, middle school, JV-wise, if you can get away with it a couple times a night on Friday night, is do nothing. Run your call get away with and get out of there before anybody's seen you. Now, we know you can't live in that. That's not, you're not gonna be successful doing that. So what are your, what are your adjustments? So um, the very first thing I like to do is what I call pulling the string. And all, all it does is gets the free safety involved a lot more aggressively on the front side of the trips and lets you let that outside walk player, that bandit, that nine ghost player, um, be a what is he hey where they line up what is what's he doing now did he miss a line did he not get the call and you can play a lot of games there you got you got to remember three fives a lot a lot a lot of smoke and mirrors so we we want you to say what that guy didn't do it right what did he call you know things like that so can you we, can you we talk base about, philip can you talk about that for a second because you said we were we were looking at some film before we started uh video and and uh, and you said you you kind of like that chaos part of it that that uh, you don't necessarily have yeah. to have them lined up in perfect stances you you want to create a little chaos and and put some doubt well, on the offensive mind can you talk about that and, philosophy? and I have yeah I have a whole video on that so about why why I even go to this defense but yeah I honest to goodness a compliment to me would be we can't tell what you're running. Um, you know, I had a coach one time say, it looks like somebody kicked over an ant bed. Good, good. You know, because maybe me and you can figure that out after we run the film back 12 times in slow motion. 
But that 16, 17-year-old kid, he's not going to block it right. That quarterback's not going to read it right. And that's that's what we want. So I, there's a whole series that I've done on that as well. So that things like that will be coming. So, yeah, you're going to see right here when I show you some clips. Um, we got some guys, they're not in pretty stances. We got, there's one, I, I think he probably missed a call to somebody hollered at him, be honest with you, but he swears he was disguising it. But, you know, but that doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother as long as you get there, you know, make the play. So um, I think that's, honestly, I think that's part of the three fives mystique or whatever, you know. So, but we're very vanilla. I, I like the base out of a cover, teach from a cover three. We're not always in cover three. I think most of these, I think all of these clips were going to be in cover three. I pulled these clips from year one. Um, so you're going to see the good, bad, the ugly, mostly ugly, but you're going to see from very first install, but you'll, you'll be able to see, let me, let me click to my little diagram here. Okay. On my, very intricate diagram here. You can see we got three by one. The corners are in black. You got the free safeties in red. You got the trip side bandit, the walk player, he's in blue. And this is my guy in green. This is the man here. Okay, he's gonna be the guy that pulls the string. Now you can see right there, we can play cover three, man free, bracket somebody, some kind of two read switch, what it match coverage. We can man one person if they had a big dog. We can play cover four. Um, you know, you, you, it gives you some options. And when the when this 16 year old quarterback's looking out here, and you're going to see this guy's constantly moving. I really wished my corners would have been moving more at that point. They want uh, my free safety is very lackadaisical at that point. But when all those parts and pieces are moving, it can cause a mess. So, and we're going to, you're going to see, we're going to keep the box intact. So this is my very first adjustment uh, where we're going to keep that box. And I, like I said, this is year one. So we, I don't think we had much more in than this. So, you know, all we're going to do is tell this band to get the 10 yards down the hash and play football. And first time you tell them that, always look right back at them and say, all right, when you're playing in the backyard, nobody has to tell you what the rules are or what position you're playing, do they? And they say, no. I said, well, then play football, you know? And then I always say, alignment does not change assignment. Now, we all know sometimes it does, but I like that's a big, big thing of mine is saying that your alignment doesn't change your assignment unless. So right here, I'm going to tell you, I think, I think on all of these I called – Skies cover three. I didn't tell him nothing but pull the string. He didn't get any kind of other call. So it's cover three. So right here, corners are deep. Free safety's deep. This bandit's in the flat trying to knock down number two. If number two goes away, he's going to try to knock down number one. Literally knock him on the ground. Right here, we're going to get an athletic stance. We should bounce. I know one of them is very flat-footed. If we get an immediate inside threat, give me some help. If we get some kind of crosser right here, give me some help. He's looking at this triangle, okay? But the first thing he notices is this back's on his side. If this back's on his side, that's just the same as him being right here. That's the immediate. That's his immediate threat right there. Uh, a lot of people try to run wheel routes on me on this right here. That's his immediate threat though. So. Um, that he's just playing this triangle. If he's got an immediate threat, that's his. But we've gotten some down the road. We got some huge hits out of this with crossing routes or slants. So there's there's really no magic in this. You want to keep it simple. Um, I don't definitely don't think I'm the best defensive coach or three five coach out there. I do think I'm probably one of the simplest coaches, and in that way. The kids can play fast. They can have fun. They can get prepared for the game. Coach friendly, um, you know. And like I said, you're gonna you're gonna see good, bad, and ugly here. So 
Um, if we can get, let's try to hit a few clips here and hold them and talk through them here as we go. All right. On this first clip, I move our ugly faces out of the way. On this first clip here, you can, you can see we're making calls. They're all peeking. Free safety's hollering, communicating. Right here, linebacker, he's getting a call. Linebacker's getting a call. This bandit's this little bitty tip of the helmet you see out here. And this is the one he swears he got the call. He was disguised, and I think he missed it till late. Now, first thing you're going to ask me is you broke the box. No, I didn't. This guy right here, I'm sorry, this guy right here is an animal. And we just thought every now and then he could put his hand on the ground and bully somebody. He had the leeway on certain calls, which has got nothing to do with what we're talking about tonight. But he had the leeway on certain calls to bump somebody out of the way and bully his way in the backfield. So that's why it's going to look like a 4-2 for just a minute here. But the box itself is still intact. So when we run this thing, see, I, I personally think somebody hollered at him told him to get his tail out of there. But – so when you look at this thing, we got corner, corner. You got the strong side bandit. The free should be over here a little more towards the hash. He's okay now. I don't like how he turned his shoulders to start with, but he's okay now. He's looking in that backfield, okay? He knows he's got this triangle right here. And it just, of course, it just gets blown up in the backfield. They were trying to get us, and I had played this team before when I was at a previous school, and he tried to go three by one or even quads and and then find a way to run that ball up in there. So we we kind of knew what he was going to attack us with here. So we and, – and like I said, this was our first adjustment anyway, so it kind of played right into what we wanted to do. We wanted to keep the box very full. So – and you, there's a good picture of him just getting out of there. He shouldn't have turned his back like that. I don't like that. But that's just a good picture of him right there. That's just, and he's just bouncing, playing football, playing football right there. And of course, like I said, we put that guy in there to blow it up. So, But there's a good look of where he's supposed to be. So... Get on to the next one there. That's him up there talking, getting out of there. So you can see you can run multiple coverages right there. And I didn't have to check anything, not one thing out of the box. There he is again getting out. But you can see I didn't have to get – I can make – the, the biggest thing this is going to give you is you can you can make your base calls and stay in your base calls completely, not have to check to anything right here because your, bo your box is where our calls start at anyway. So here we go. Here's another one. You're looking at 35 right here. He's actually looking at me now, I can tell. Of course, I think this one's hollering at him too, but – I like the way he's doing this a lot better right there. Now you can see he doesn't have an immediate threat. The back's on the on the wrong side. To me, to me, if I was an offensive guy, I'd always set the back away from the trips to give him an immediate threat, honestly. But he's reading that triangle. Boom, boom, right there. Now, what it should have done, and here's the ugly, here's part of the ugly that I want to talk to you about is it should make this free safety who's way too deep, who's way too timid, he can play a lot more aggressive down in here now. All he's looking at, of course, we're in cover three, we're in sky. He's got deep third, but if number one pushes vertical, he's going to carry him. He, he's going to carry that. Remember, the bandit's going to knock somebody down. He's going to try to knock two down, two goes away. He's going to knock one down. But if three pushes vertical, he's going to carry him. He can walk down in here. He sees this as a run immediately. He ought to be coming off these butts right here, making everybody right. He's not bad in what he's doing because if he was the backside bandit, he would kind of be making, you know, running that angle anyway. So right, right here, 
he should be up in here getting it downhill a lot better. But that's not terrible by the man and his angle ain't great, but that's about how you should play that. The free safety should have been down in there five, six, seven yards deeper. Here's a good angle. 35 is the one walking off. 16 should have just come on. I don't, 16 really doesn't have to backpedal there. He knows he's got help all over the place. And right here, you can see we dropped big boy down again, but we kept the box full. So, but free safe should have cleaned that play up on the line of scrimmage right there. We were able to make, make any call we wanted right there in the box. So we've got one more to peek at here. He's our, this is game one of ever putting this in. Um, this is my bandit here that's got the string pulled on him. And, and of course here's trip side guys. He's about right now, maybe a hair deep. He might be a hair deep, but you can see the box is very generic here. We probably got some kind of blitz call the way he's walked up, okay? Little flat footed there, turn his back a little, but you can see he's trying, he's looking to give help. He's looking to give help to a slant here that never, never materializes. You can see the free safety carrying that receiver. The box, the box stays intact and we got good pressure. Here's a very good shot. Right here's your guy. Now, I, I know he's a little wide, but I still call that he's in the box. He hadn't taken himself out of the box. He just knows there's trips over there and he just cheating a little bit maybe. Another good angle from behind. I wish he wouldn't have turned his back like that. If he knows there was no immediate threat, he should have probably just backpedaled on out of there. Let's see. So no, you know, no, no magic or anything there, Joe. Just it's just a very base adjustment on maybe disguising and coverage. Even if they run, your box is still full. Of, you know, you still got what they got in the box. Um, the bandit can come running from if it's a run play, he's gonna come running. If they shoot somebody into the flat, he's gonna come running. Give up the short pass for the big lick, you know zone principles um but i i just i i think it's a great way to disguise things make things look about you know a lot more than what they are uh it's a starting point it's a way to be simple but yet play fast and like i said if i i didn't have to check there was no check on that when i called whatever i called up front you know nowadays especially with air raid you gotta make a call and have this check or Look, look back at me. There, there's no check. If I know all I'm going to do is pull the string to this formation, there's no check whatsoever in the box. So, uh, I, I love way it. to adjust the three ball. Yeah, I love it. I, I think that uh, that just made three three or three five uh, a lot uh, a lot more attractive in my mind uh, because that was you know my my main problem was it was the ability to get the the too high look even if you're really playing cover three. And I like your chaos idea. Mm -hmm. I hate playing teams that that uh, they don't get lined up. You know, I want you to get lined up in a pretty stance so that we know where to attack you at. And when they're when you got all right. that chaos going on, I don't I don't like it. You know, so uh, so I like both those ideas. I, well, I and you know, great. people are gonna try to quick snap you in tempo, and you just gotta know that going in. All right, if they're doing that, quit all that move and get get lined up. 
You know, it's it's a chess match. Yeah. Well, great job, man. That was impressive. So that's part one. This thing's called the easy adjustment to three by one out of the three five defense. Part one. Part two is already on your channel. And you said you had another good one. What was it? Disguising coverages. Is that the is that the other really good one? Yeah, just, the other? yeah it, it is. And there's some different ways. It's basically different ways to run cover three. Or if you got something you know they're gonna do, you know, you can you can the thing about the three five is you can put any combination of the once you teach what the alignment call means or even and there's very few different assignments but the very few different assignments are you can combine them any kind of way you want to and once you got that talk it's a very easy adjustment on the sideline on friday night once you see something yeah uh, yeah just just to, for lack of a better term disguising coverages um the part two i do want to mention to this is there are times you need to break that box um, if you know it's a passing down or if you know they're going to get that three number three hot or, you know, or whatever, something you saw on film and you got to keep that big dog back in the box there, you know, uh, for some reason, that one, I said it could put his hand on the ground. He's got to stay in the box. I can't cheat him or there's times you need to break it. And honestly, people will count and run the ball and get away with it sometime, but you know, it, it's third and 12, run the ball. I feel like I can get you down. I mean, there's, there's times you do, you know, and, and you got you to gotta bring pressure in other ways now. You can't just sit in there and say, okay, I'll be a 3-2 box, do whatever you want to do to me. But remember, the thing we have, Joe, with 3-5 and you have with 3-4 is you got a what if on every play. You know, you, I want you to think about when people go to the clinic they draw up a four-two box. That's all you see. They drop a four to how to block a four-two box. You know? So I I wanna I wanna raise my hand one time and say, all right, how are you gonna block this? You know, that that probably won't go well, but you got a what if with with those head up guys or those four eye guys every time. So you know it's funny when I when I first started the channel and I was doing stuff on a whiteboard. Every single time I drew it up to a four-two box, so it just uh, mm -hmm. you know when everyone's declared and you know where everyone's at, that's how that's yes. on offense. That's what you want. So uh, it's a great yep. job, and your channel's called Coach Philip Richards' Three-Five Defense. And, uh, and it is. I put a link. I'm going to put a link in the description, and I'm already subscribed to you. And I'm super excited about uh, having you on the, on the, my channel, and I'm super excited about your channel, man. And so all all the three five guys, all the three 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 five guys, make sure you go to Philip's channel and subscribe and uh, and start sharing ideas, because because uh, I know he's gonna have some guests on. If you're a three five guy and you want to come on, he he wants to have you come on and and uh, do a video on his channel and. Uh, and the three five guys need a home, so Phillips providing them a home, uh, a home on the internet for uh, for three five yeah. guys. And uh, I'm super excited yeah. for you, man. I appreciate appreciate you having me, and then uh, you know hopefully this thing will take, take off and and share ideas and all get better. So. Amen, amen. All right, brother, I appreciate it.